Hey everybody, Forrest Mickey here at Learburg. We wanted to bring you a couple of healing tips that might help you insert a little bit more extra fun or flavor into your healing program, as well as give you some solutions to dogs that are a little bit lazy with their back end and healing. We're gonna start by teaching our dog two tricks or behaviors independent of our heal work, but that will later be added to it. So they have nothing to do with healing yet, but later on they will. The first of those behaviors is a left spin, and that left is relative to our dog's left side. General will teach this spin right out in the open in front of us. Once our dog is able to perform that behavior in front, we'll simply insert it on the side because that's where we'll expect them to perform it from in the context of our heel work. The second of those behaviors is what we call a reverse circle. And this is a pretty challenging one and can be taught with a food lure or leash pressure. And it requires the dog to both back up and to tuck their rear end. So this is a compounded behavior and it asks a lot from the dog but can be really functional when we eventually insert it into our healing program and often gets us a really great result. Once we've inserted these behaviors on the side, we can start to add a little bit more complexity to our work and creativity in order to ask our dog to sort of step it up a little bit. And this is where it really starts to influence our healing work. Once that he shows me that he's confident in performing them here, I'll actually insert them into my healing patterns. And what you'll notice is, after a left 90 or left about turn, is when I like to ask the dog to perform these new behaviors. By performing them slightly after the turn, I ask the dog to think a little bit more about their rear end and their body position by giving them tricks that are incompatible with both forging forward and keeping the rear out. And if I consistently insert these after turns, my dog will think about them more and should be more responsive in the back end. So again, just a couple of tricks that you can consider adding to your healing work that make it a little bit more fun, and they're also functional in the sense that they help the dog in terms of their position and their reactivity from the back end. If you're looking to get a little bit more information on some fun healing tricks that you can insert into your current program, you can check out our Healer's Toolbox series at Learburg.com. <laughs>